final score was one to nothing and nobody scored until the third period when BU finally found the back of the net. Already it's one to one. Things opening up here at Gutterson Fieldhouse. Again, that was Max Kaufman with the assist. That's his fifth of the season. And Jay O'Brien with a goal. He had an assist yesterday, so he has been pretty successful against the Catamounts. Classic sends it ahead to Tuck. Tuck fighting for positioning for Thomas. Thomas sees it poked out. A big hit there for the Catamounts. Mullen with that hit. Tuck behind the net in the offensive zone for BU. Tuck is one of those young players that has really contributed. Pulls it to Vlasic. Jarman knocks it off the boards. This is the group that scored yesterday. Skoog back to Vlasic. Another Northfield Savings Bank save for Tyler Harmon in this game. Here's Tuck. He's got momentum. Two on one situation. And a shot, and it's just a little bit over the net. Again, a good opportunity there for BU. 3 1 lead for the Terriers. 8.22 to go. Second period of action at Gooderson Fieldhouse. One to nothing victory for BU yesterday. Skog with a goal. Quickly on that one. Just went left corner, and all of a sudden it's four to one BU with the lead. Yeah, once again BU taking advantage of a quick little turnover, an iffy play on the offsides at the blue line. Settles back in. He's been in net for uh, all the periods here as he's a, a senior in net for the Catamounts. Waited his turn, and now he has an opportunity as the starter. The goal is totally moved behind as it looks like a, it was Kaufman who ran right into the net. And Gio Shavili getting into it. Duplessis was able to cover that up on that one. Excuse me, that was Tuck that ran right into the net. And like I said, a little bit of a 